College making their first bowl appearance since 1986, led by second-year coach Tom Coughlin. And the 17th-ranked Tennessee Volunteers playing in a New Year's Day bowl game for the fourth straight year, but for the first time under new head coach Philip Fulmer. We're just about ready for the 1993 Hall of Fame Bowl from Tampa, Florida. We'll be right back after this. Well, a little windy here in Tampa. That may play a factor, especially in the kicking game. The field goals and punts. Chapman knocks this one to Dukes eight yards deep in the end zone, and Boston College will start from there. 1,387 yards rushing, number one in the Big East, number four in the country. Tight end Pete Mitchell, the club's top receiver with 40 catches. He made the football new sophomore All-American team. Ron Stone was a two-year starter at defensive tackle before switching to offense this year. He has solidified the front for B.C. Dukes and Campbell are the split backs behind Glenn Foley. A lot of motion, a lot of shifting. Chucky Dukes. Near the 25-yard line. Leads the team in sacks with 11. 21 of his 38 tackles were behind the line of scrimmage. Junior Reggie Ingram is the middle linebacker. He tied to the team lead in tackles, even though he's missed time with a shoulder injury. And J.J. McCluskey will put on a demonstration today, starting at free safety and also playing some at wide receiver. Out of the eye, they'll give it to Dukes again, and Dukes can't slip a tackle as he gets up to the 27th. Third and three. And Foley to throw for the first time. Good production, throws underneath, complete for the first down. You wonder if Mitchell will have to stay in and block on him all day because he is their primary pass receiver. They go to the ground, Campbell across the 35, near the 38. It's opening possession, second and five. Campbell again, gaping hole off the right side, out to the 49-yard line. Out of the eye this time, play action by Foley under pressure, and Kelly got it. The loss of 10, second and 20. Draw play, Duke. Tripped up as he got to the 45-46. They are facing a third and 12 from their own 46-yard line. And Kelly jumps offside. Look. Dead ball. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty. Two wide receivers near side. Kelly with pressure again. Foley steps up. Running for his life into Tennessee territory. He got to the 46. That waits at the Tennessee 10-yard line. High snap, got down with it. Now he's got to try to run the football, and he's down. The high snap did them in. That's a good enough block to get it done. Tennessee starts out of the eye. He's Schuler on the first play, wants it all down the middle. Caught at the one-yard line, Ronald Davis. This is just a classic case of Tennessee having more speed. You see him, what a great catch. What an outstanding grab. Get a big one, get a big push by the offensive line. Garner didn't make it. Tried to go over the top and was stuffed. At... But the penalty is against the Eagles. Gets in the air. Oh. And chopped him right at the waist. Option, Schuler, touchdown. He had 11 rushing touchdowns during the season. This guy and head on in. Jeff Smith leads him into the end zone. John Bexford, who has hit 64 straight extra points now in his career. It's 7-0. And he is kicking into a win. And crushes another one this time out of the end zone. All right, Jerry, we want you stationed at all four corners of the end zone down there because we're going to need your help if they throw one there. Foley goes back to work. They'll keep it on the ground up to about the 25-yard line. Five on first down.
Campbell is the single. Excuse me, this is Dukes, and he is overwhelmed at the 20-yard line. Ross Lehman, that's called the knuckle, right, Jerry? All <laughs> right, that's the knuckle of the middle finger. On third and 10, Foley trying to run for it again, and he won't make it. Slides at the 26. Foley has to pull it down again. Sean Summers waiting another bad snap. Beckley gets this one off, and Summers will make the fair catch. They'll start at their 45. Charlie Garner, the single setback. And Garner will get the carry. Flashing between tacklers, brought down by Stephen Boyd. As Heath Schuler at quarterback, the sophomore, an accomplished passer, and a running threat, third in the SEC in total offense. Corey Fleming, his favorite target, he led Tennessee with 40 catches, fourth in the Southeastern Conference at 490 yards. Up front, Mike Stoll is the only two-year starter in all SEC pick. He is an excellent run blocker. And they ran over Stoll's side that last time. They'll try it this time with little success. Mike Marinero, the Eagles' most consistent lineman, third on the team in tackles as a three-year starter. Tom McManus averages 14 and a half tackles a game. The senior was a two-time Big East Defensive Player of the Week. And Charlie Brennan, the Big East free safety, number one team, the big play man in the secondary. He has six interceptions. They'll run out of the eye this time and give it to Phillips, the fullback. And he will be very close to a first down. Two room throw, four man rush. This is Phillips, the fullback. Nice cut, another nice cut down to the 33 yard line. Garner. Boy, he raced toward that hole. Garner, three carry, 15 yards. Now, Second guys. and four here for Tennessee. Schuler on the option, wants to throw off of it and has it batted down incomplete. Third and four. BC shows blitz. Here they come. They throw against it. Complete to the 10-yard line. Fleming to the five. Touchdown. He drills it through, and you have to wonder if Boston College is starting to think this could be another Notre Dame. They hope not, I'll tell you that. Boy, and have they run some guys off the track team to play wide receiver for this team. Another booming kick to Chucky Dukes will take nine yards. Campbell and Dukes behind Foley, who throws and throws incomplete to Dukes coming out of the backfield. Campbell, the single setback. He's looking for Mitchell instead, throws deep downfield to the corner, completes it to Clarence Cannon. The first down, Boston College at the 39. Campbell squeezing between tacklers. Second and five. Duke got four. Third and a long one. Campbell hit at the line of scrimmage, and I don't think he made it. Once you take away the, the offensive line, guards pulling, or the lead blocker, Campbell, the single set back behind Foley. Campbell, first down. Dukes wants to throw. It's a toss back to Foley. Foley down the middle to Mitchell, and Mitchell to the 30. He didn't bite on any fake. He just stayed with his responsibility. Foley again down the sideline. Caught at the six-yard line. Keith Miller, the flanker back. First and goal. Campbell will get the carry inside the five inside the three play clock winding down second and goal on the ground to the one the tight formation Mitchell the tight end will be on a wing Campbell lost the yard as Tennessee swarmed on it 
in here on fourth and goal. Shift back to a tighter formation. Intended for the tight is Ivan Boyd. Touchdown. No. They called it incomplete. Ivan Boyd thought he had it. Quick pop, little delay underneath. He doesn't have oh, he it. He didn't. Good throw, tough throw, but hard to bring in. Tennessee will start from its own one, and Boston College, that will be the last play of the first quarter. And it's been all Tennessee. The Volunteers lead the Hall of Fame Bowl 14 0. to Stewart to get his first carry. Pounds his way out near the five-yard line. Stewart again on the carry, and he will get out to about the eight-yard line, so... Clint Kubiyama at the 47. Nowhere to go. Gets back to the 45. If we, we've but a, brought a lot of our Hulkamaniacs here that are visually impaired, and it's called Touch Vision. Disney's on the bandwagon. He's on that last play. Chucky had to hit him right in the hands, and he lost it. Now Dukes will go back to the ground across the Tennessee 40 down to the 39-yard line about the game. Dukes and Campbell are the back. Dukes with a carry to the 38-yard line. Fourth down, Campbell, the single setback, movement up front. Dead ball, false start on the offense, five-yard penalty. Didn't change Tom Coughlin's mind on fourth and eight. He'll go for it, pulling out all the stops here in the first half. That was Mitchell shifting to the near side. Foley under pressure again. Throws on the run. Mitchell with the catch. He's got the first down at the 31. You gotta like this guy. Back to the eye on first down from the 31. Duke maintains his balance and gets down near the 21-yard line. At second and a yard here. Foley comes to the near side, completed the sideline here in the opening half. Over the middle, Mitchell, touchdown! The sophomore All-American tight end. I did that time, Foley did. The point after from David Gordon. And Boston College cuts the lead in half. Second quarter, it's 14-7. He knows where he has to go. Jeff Beckley to kick it off. Nilo Sullivan, the freshman. Nilo Sylvan, excuse me, waits at the goal line. Sylvan across the 20. Tripped up, reaches the 30-yard line. Right eyes and bushy tail, too. Stewart, 33. Brunson, 44. Are the new set of running backs. And Stewart. Hit at the line of scrimmage, dives forward to the 32 yard. All right, Jerry, thanks. We'll check on that when they get the ball back. Schuler with time, throws underneath, complete at the 35 yard line. Third and four, Tennessee. No one in the backfield behind Schuler. Little sprint this way. Throws complete to Faulkner. Faulkner to the 40 yard line, fumbled it after he hit the ground. Schuler's hit five out of six for 89 yards and a touchdown already. Once again, they'll go with a spread offense quickly to Fleming. Fleming out to the 49-yard line. Schuler again, screen back to the near side. Blockers in front of Ronald Davis, but he's tripped up. First down at the BC, 45 for the Volunteers. Schuler to throw again. Plenty of time, now he'll run it. Schuler dives to the 31, another Tennessee first down as they go back to the eye on first and 10 from the 31. Stewart hitting the backfield, shakes off the tackle, can't shake off the next one. 
and it, I'd be afraid to see his brother. Had 15 rushing touchdowns the same year. Option. Schuler keeps. Couldn't get very far, but from the 29-yard line, they're already leading 14 to 7, 6:15 to go first half. Schuler five-step drop, guns it across the middle. Fleming has it to 15. Another first down, Tennessee. Schuler eight out of nine for 118 yards so far. Schuler set to throw again. Got this one a little low, but completed it down to the 10 to Boyd in this set. Now keep it on the ground. Give it to the fullback, Mario Brunson. You know, Michael, one thing. Hayden is the tailback, number 24. And Schuler wants to throw it. The flanker screen, and it won't work. Boston College all over it, but what a job by Nilo Stillman to keep it alive. Bexport to try the field goal. It will be a 34-yard attempt. And he missed it wide right. Bexford, who had made 16 of 23, misfires. The lead is still seven. <laughs> Foley with time. Throws again to Mitchell. The 26-yard line. Starts your right tackle. And there he is doing a good job. Second and three. Darnell Campbell, the single setback. As they go, a power formation right. And Campbell gets absolutely nothing out of it. Third and three now. Dukes, the deep man. He gets the carry behind Campbell. He has the first down. Talley makes the stop. The drive here to tie after being down 14-0. Foley with a short drop to the sideline. Incomplete. Second and ten intended for Mitchell, up in the air and nearly intercepted J.J. McCleskey. Third and ten for Foley. Throws incomplete. Excellent coverage. It's a kick return. He is back near his 20-yard line. Beautiful high sailing punt. Summers forced all the way back to the 20. Hayden on the draw. Boyd did a nice job stepping up, getting a piece of him, and then get some help at the 25. No pass rush at all, and Hayden with all day. And then Boyd, sophomore All-American, named by the Football News. Schuler again with all day to throw, completes it out to the 35-yard line on first down. Great pass protection for Schuler. Guns it over the middle, incomplete. Hayden is the single setback, number 24. Here comes the blitz from Boston College, and they'll get it out to Faulkner. Blocker in front. Has the first down and more. Got it out to the 48-yard line. Four-man rush. They want a screen to Fleming. Defense very well by Boston College. Only gets it to midfield. 20 seconds left to go in the half. And Schuler will just kill the clock. No opportunity. Schuler steps up in the pocket, deep down the middle, and right off the face mask of Ronald Davis. He's looking back dead into the sun. This is a bullet coming out of the sun. Hits him right in the head. He was guessing where it was going to be. He can't, he's saying touchdown. Oh. End over end. Kubiyama lets it go. Clock running. And they'll kill it inside the five-yard line on the last play of the first half. So Tennessee jumps on top early. 14-0, but Boston College has cut the lead to seven. Second half is underway. Sylvan with a chance to return from the seven. Straight up the middle to the 25-yard line. Let's All right, Jerry, thank you. And he proved they could play with him cutting that half.
half time of that lead from 14 to 7. Garner on the toss. Pinned in. Can't go anywhere. Has really been held down. Four carries, 14 yards. Garner again. Tried to break this one to the outside. Got near the 30. Third and about six. Again, no pressure. Schuler with time over the middle. Complete first down out to the 46. Davis, three catches, 64 yards. Moe Phillips, the fullback. Nice cut to the 33-yard line of Austin College. Phillips will get a couple this time down to the 30-yard line. Far more than he wanted to get individual honors, and he got plenty of those. Second and six. Schuler gives it. Garner. And Garner to about the 23-yard line. Match up a little bit better. Jerry Punch gaps. said they wanted to establish the run, and they have done that coming out of the locker room. Garner again. Nice cut. Still on his feet to the 10, another first down, Tennessee. Garner has gained 23 yards on four carries in this drive. They'll get another crack at it. Stutter steps, got him nowhere this time, and there is a flag down on Eagle defense. And this will cost him 10. First and 20. Comes the blitz. Schuler throws the screen. Phillips down to the 14-yard line. What would the Southern football team be without someone named Bubba? Schuler, quarterback draw. What a move inside the 10-5. Touchdown. Good, I know. I've had trouble, too. Schuler's great run gives his team a 14-point lead third quarter. Joey Chapman to kick it away to Charlie Dukes and Justice Smith. Smith two yards deep in the end zone. He'll bring it out. Wedges it right up the middle, but shy of the 20-yard line. A lot of discipline in, uh, into me, and uh, for me, he was the most influential coach I've ever had as far as developing me as a young player and teaching me football. Learning to read coverage is read coach I've ever seen. Uh, his only stepping stone of problem is the way he likes to go about things. Uh, you have to deal with egos in the NFL. For BC. Foley to throw, wants to flank your screen, has it complete, but they're not going to get anything out of it. Greg Rice. Low line drive, returnable kick. Summers, midfield to the Boston College 46-yard line behind the line of scrimmage, and it will be a roughing the kicker call. Campbell, the single setback. Foley throws, almost intercepted, and now ruled incomplete. Mitchell in motion. Campbell picks up three or four. Doug, the last couple of years. You... Foley under pressure. Now he unloads. Picked up. Stacy Smith, the senior from Gainesboro, Georgia, reverses his field. Smith out of the 27-yard line. Garner and Brunson are the backs. Garner gets the carry. Inside the 25. Second and seven. Tennessee. Schuler on the option. BC strings it out. Schuler has to go out of bounds to the 27-yard line. 
Schuler with time, throws underneath. Faulkner all the way to the 12-yard line. He's a very, very schooled quarterback. Garner to the five-yard line. Garner with Brunson in front of him. It is second and two. Garner again tries to cut it outside, and he'll be stopped all the way back at the nine-yard line. Here come the blitz again. Schuler picks it up and throws for Faulkner incomplete at the five-yard line. This will be a 25-yard attempt. And Bexport knocks this one through. So Tennessee extends its lead. It's now 24-7, third quarter. Joey Chapman, the junior, kicking into the wind this time. And hits another good one. Dukes all the way back to the 10. Made the first man miss and got it up to the 34. Chucky Dukes. Closed down on in a hurry by Jeff Tullis. Foley rolls to his right, throws on the run, incomplete, knocked away by Steve Sexton. Boston College, 20% on third down conversion. Foley throws and tried to hit his tight end again. And they'll have to punt it away. Beckley to Summers. Summers has a lane. Now hit as he got to the 30-yard line and stopped there. This is what he sure did just a little while ago when he scored. Back upstairs. Tennessee takes over to zone 30. Schuler with play action. Hit from behind, got away. Got away from a second tackler and spins out to the 31-yard line. Second and 10. Draw play. James Stewart. Line of scrimmage and no more. Third and 10. Here comes the blitz again. Schuler with no problem gets it off to Phillips. The big fullback across midfield, breaking tackle. He's got a blocker with him, and he's going to go all the way. Mose Phillips. Jacob's one of the track guys at Tennessee, but he got in 69 yards later. Back sport for the point after. And Tennessee now starting to dominate, leading 31-7 over Boston College. Tennessee is a very lucky football team to have that young man as their quarterback. Chucky Dukes and Justice Smith trying to make something happen on the kickoff. It doesn't look like they'll have a chance. And Dukes backs out of the end zone. Foley has to go to the passing game under pressure. Throws short and complete to Dukes. He'll get about two out of it. So it's second and six. Dukes, about two yards shy of a first down, out of the 28. Foley to throw for it, too high for Miller. Beckley kicks to Summers. Short kick, and it takes the Tennessee bounce back to midfield. From Oak Ridge, Tennessee, is into the ballgame. And he gives it off to the third tailback, Aaron Hayden. That will be the end of the third quarter from Tampa, the Hall of Fame Bowl. And it's now Tennessee in command, 31-7. Tennessee at the Boston College 48-yard line. Play action by Colquitt. Throws on the run and nearly had it picked off. with a short set and the short sack. And the left footer hits a beautiful kick. Could be on a fair catch to the 16-yard line. Team Stone's done a fabulous job and they play good defense. Foley on the run, throws complete to Miller out to the 30. Let's check in with Jerry Punch. It's all the air play I know how to play in this one right now. We'll hold and go back upstairs and come back and talk to Charles just a minute. All right, thanks, Jerry. Foley throws for his tight end, Pete Mitchell. In uh, high school, same orange. This uh, same orange Tennessee and the same orange here. I saw some old sweatshirts from high school. Charles McCray at Tampa Bay Bucks. Charles, thank you. 
Chucky Dukes on the swing pass. They tried to set up a screen. Up. You have to line up and go. Isn't much deception left now. Down by 24 and facing third and seven. Foley against the four-man rush with time. Throws for Mitchell. Can't bring it down at midfield. Summers to the 30, maybe the 31-yard line as Boston College gets its coverage team down. They stole the football. They just took it away from him. Kind of break Boston College had to have down 31-7. Can they take advantage? Foley under pressure, and he's sacked. Dukes are the split backs. Foley has time. Now he's chased out of the pocket. Points long, throws long, and overthrows in the end zone intended for Grice against Penn State. He threw for 344 yards and four touchdowns in that huge win. Great back again, the quick release. Got it to Mitchell. Mitchell down to about the 33-yard line. Fourth and 13. They've got to go for it. And in the ballgame, Jeff Ryan, the backup quarterback, and the lefty throws incomplete. There's a flag down in the secondary. Holding on the defense. 10-yard penalty. First down. Glenn Foley back in the ballgame on first and 10 from the 23. Under pressure again. Sacked at the 29. Second and 16. Pocket collapsing under him, throws incomplete. After that last shot, Ryan is back in for Foley at quarterback. Talk about a pressure situation for a young man, and he throws between two receivers. It wasn't about 16 yards, and they had movement up front. Dead ball, false start on the offense. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. Foley throws deep sideline incomplete, intended for Ivan Boyd. Colquitt gives it off to Hayden, and Hayden pounds out over uh, across the 40-yard line. You make half the people mad just doing it. Hayden cuts it back against the grain, slips the tackle, gets out to the 45 and may have a first down. Hayden the tailback, they have the first and 10. And Colquitt on the roll. He'll keep it and pick up about three. Got to the 48. Second and seven. Hayden dragging a tackler with him in the Boston College territory. You'd never regret the experience, Mike. You're absolutely right. That's the one thing that stays with you. Third and three. Colquitt throws to Fleming. First down and more. Fleming has speed. Touchdown, Tennessee. He's up and can't bring him down. Bexford for the point after. Fleming, five catches, 102 yards, and two touchdowns in this game. It's all Tennessee. Chucky Dukes and Justice Smith awaiting the kick. Taken by one of the up men and stopped as they got to the 25-yard line. Let's him inside. Back up here. All right, thank you, Jerry. A lot of memories for uh, all these kids coming into this ball game. On the left shoulder over the heart. Foley back to throw over the middle to Mitchell, who has had a uh, big ball game. For all you Irish watchers, uh, we've got one in the booth here. I am an Irish watcher. Foley throws underneath. Chucky Dukes to struggle. There's a guy that... Clock running down to 6.22 to go. Foley showing a lot of courage hanging in here. He's been beaten up the entire game. Throws again incomplete. The true freshman, the free safety Parker, is also a true freshman. Dukes trying to break the draw. Cut it outside, got a nice block. 
and Chucky Dukes forced out of bounds at the 39-yard line. But really, the only returning starter on that offensive line. They've done a magnificent job. Foley throws the out to Boyd. Boyd will make the catch down at the 18-yard line. First down, Boston College, and Foley goes to the shotgun. Over the middle, Mitchell couldn't hold it at the goal line. 5.44 left in the ball game. Here comes the blitz. Foley unloads. Mitchell inside the five. Mitchell touchdown. Seven catches, 79 yards, and two touchdowns for Mitchell. The Eagles will go for two. Looking for Mitchell again. Got it. The two-point conversion. The eighth catch for Mitchell. He has two touchdowns and a two-point conversion. It's now Tennessee 38, Boston College 15. There's that high bounce, and Tennessee will come out with the football. Good opportunities to win football games. I think that's what you're looking for if you're going to play. You're going to be a student athlete at the college level. Stewart, the tailback behind Coltwood, and he'll get the carry. Second and eight. And oh, delay a game on the offense. Five yard penalty. Second and 13. Stewart with a nice cut, keeps his balance to about the 43 yard line. 6'4", 262, 265. Question is, will he go up in weight and be an end, or will he come down in weight, be an outside linebacker, pass rusher at the pro level? Colquitt had that one tipped at the line of scrimmage. They come for the block and they won't get it. Subiyama fair catch, lost the ball, got it back at the seven. I would be, uh, I would like to talk to them. Foley throws almost intercepted. Unfortunately, in the New York Giant organization, this year in particular, was disciplined. I mean, you're not going to hear players. Foley under pressure, trying to throw for Mitchell again. Would say it from the big sombrero down here in Tampa. Foley throws sideline complete. This will be another first down. Got it out to Cannon. 3.13 to go in the game. 38-15, Tennessee. Foley will give on the delay. Dukes, out to the 47-yard line. First down, BC at its own 48. Foley under a lot of pressure, throws this one downfield, intended for Cannon, second and 10 for the Eagles. Back under center is Foley. Mitchell lunging. Look at the effort on this guy. I mean, here's, here's a guy who had three touchdowns all year, average almost 14 yards a catch, so doing what he does. Foley wide open is Cannon. He's at the 16-yard line. Was hope springs eternal. This score and two onside kicks. You win the ball. Oh, you're right. Foley throwing and throwing it away and a bright future in front of he and his football team. Second and 10 for Foley. Giving directions and then being planted at the 23 yard line. Of really, really taking them out of the rhythm they wanted to establish in controlling this game. Foley, the screen to Dukes. To, to the 10, to the 6. We're trying to make the scoreboard look better at this point. Campbell. Campbell diving to the goal line. Touchdown. Darnell Campbell from Brockton showing you some power off the right side. Still out there firing bullets. Now they're going to go for two. That was a 93-yard drive. They go for two. Boyd got it. Nice toss, and Boyd, the six-foot junior, went up and got it. 
And now Boston College undoubtedly will go for another onside kick, trailing by 15. He's going to play center over there. He's played every position on the offensive line for Tennessee. When Tennessee now working on the clock with a minute 19 to go in the game. Colt with a quarterback. Hayden is the tailback, and he'll get the carry. Cuts it back, nearly broke it. Still on his feet and driving forward to the 37-yard line where Colt was a long count. Hayden has the first down and picks his way down to the 32-31 yard line. And they'll keep it on the ground and see if they can run out the clock. Last play of the ball game. As Tennessee runs Mitchell off left guard. And the Volunteers have done it their fourth straight New Year's Day bowl game and they will come out of Tampa, Florida as a winner. Our final score, Tennessee 38, Boston College 23.